As a result of the explosive evolution of ICT, including AI and IoT that connects all kinds of things via the internet, the world is in the thick of upheaval. As the only public institution specializing in ICT, NICT comprehensively carries out research and development, collaboration with industry, academia and government, and business promotion activities. We'd like to give you access to some of the broad range of NICT's research projects. Sensing fundamentals means watching society by utilizing radio waves and light. Solar activity affects communications, broadcasting, and satellite navigation systems that rely on radio waves. Solar flares and magnetic storms can cause a variety of problems, such as satellite outages, deterioration in the accuracy of GPS positioning, and aircraft communication failures. The daily space weather forecast meetings are based on space environment observation data. In 2017, the team improved the forecast accuracy of solar flares from 50% to 80%, achieving a figure well above the world standard. A watchful eye is turned to disaster prevention on Earth. The remote sensing laboratory aims to improve prediction accuracy for the frequent localized heavy rainfall. A phased array weather radar has been developed for the observations of rainfall in three dimensions within just 30 seconds, as opposed to five minutes with conventional radars. We can observe very precisely the rapid development of the cumulonimbus clouds, which cause localized heavy rainfall and tornadoes. Research on the mechanisms of heavy rainfall has been conducted using it. Research on water vapor, the source of rain, is rapidly advancing. Observing water vapor is important for improving rainfall forecast accuracy. And an innovative method to measure the amount of water vapor near the ground has been developed. What was the secret behind this success? Radio waves travel slower as water vapor increases. So the amount of water vapor is measured based on the wave propagation delay. What level of accuracy is required? The measured amount of radio wave delay reflects the actual humidity very well. How has this high-level measurement technology been developed? Space-time standards technologies observe time at the atomic level. Generating, measuring and disseminating Japan standard time are important missions that NICT fulfills. At NICT headquarters, the signals generated by 18 cesium atomic clocks are measured and combined to synthesize Japan's standard time. It will not lose or gain even one second in one million years. The generated time is disseminated using various means, including radio waves from two transmitting stations, telephone lines and the internet. Infrastructures such as broadcast stations, radio wave clocks, and some observatories support our lives by using the disseminated time. Looking ahead, this laboratory is advancing the development of a strontium optical lattice clock with an accuracy tens of thousands of times higher than existing cesium atomic clocks. <laughs> Integrated ICT connects society with ICT. With the volume of communications traffic increasing ever faster, the capacity of current optical fibers is approaching its limit. The Photonic Network Systems Technologies team continues developing leading-edge technology in collaboration with industry and academia.
Network control technology, optical amplifiers and especially optical switches are required to realize optical networks using multi-core optical fibers. こちらが NICT が開発したマルチコアファイバー用の高速光スイッチシステムです。Capable of transferring huge volumes of data instantly, this optical switch system with a world record switching capacity brings the next generation optical network into reality. Optical access device technologies are inseparable from the evolution of optical fiber communications. At the NICT laboratory, semiconductor crystals are being created inside vacuum chambers. They're devices for seamless integration and convergence of photonic data signals and wireless signals. This minimal device, smaller than a grain of rice, a world first, is the heart of a photonics electronics convergent device. あの光からダイレクトに無線信号に変えるとかですねそれもあの高周波の,あの無線信号に変換するというのはあの世の中にはなかったそうになります。The next generation LAN mobile communication systems such as 5G are expected to meet the complicated requirements of high speed transmission, low latency, mobility, energy saving and so on. NICT's R&D and promotion activities will provide new systems such as automatic driving and IoT. This evaluation experiment of wireless communications carried out by NICT with private enterprises is aimed at creating smart factories. Fully applying its specialist knowledge and neutrality, NICT is working on macro issues that individual enterprises may have difficulty solving. 国際的な標準化を目指そうということで皆さんとどういうところで標準化すべきかとかを議論しながら一緒に進めているっていう状況です。The verification clearly identifies factory specific problems and suggests a new wireless architecture to solve them.Wireless technology is also used in drones whose use is steadily growing. Creation of novel value through the analysis and application of data in the field of data utilization and analysis. Research is conducted at this institute on automatic retrieval of valuable information from the mass of data on web pages and SNS. WisdomX, a large-scale web information analysis system, answers why and what will happen if type questions using data collected from over 4 billion web pages. WisdomX has been expanded to create a new generation interactive dialogue system, WECTA. Exploiting deep learning, it converses without the conventional rules and scenarios. If you ask, what will happen if global warming continues, Wecta replies, Disana analyzes disaster-related information scattered on social media sites in real time. It can answer questions such as, what do they need in Kumamoto? and automatically picks up damage reports from designated areas. It's a system that promptly provides locations and information about disasters as they happen. The Institute also developed DSUM, which summarizes the information from DSANA in an easy to understand way. It's being used for training at disaster prevention agencies and municipalities and for developing disaster countermeasures. ICT can even bridge language barriers aiming to realize a society that ensures global and free exchange as promoted by the government NICT conducts R&D on core multilingual speech translation technology What's your name? Where are you from? Indonesia Indonesia Speaking I'm sick Is there a problem in the room? Is there a problem in the room? There's a problem in the room Voicetrap The multilingual speech translation app developed by NICT 
has been released to the public as part of the field experiments. Based on this core technology, development is in progress to realize hands-free conversations between people who speak different languages. Application tests are ongoing in areas such as emergency, medical care and transportation services, and practical applications at private enterprises. The backbones of the system are tens of thousands of hours of speech data, tens of millions of translated texts, and advanced algorithms which utilize artificial intelligence and machine learning. AI ですとかニューラルネットワークというような方法に変わってきましたそれでかなり学習能力が高くなりましてそこに質の高いデータをたくさん集めることで性能を上げるということができるようになってきました The Center for Information and Neural Networks is a collaboration with Osaka University Its mission is to develop pioneering technologies combining the knowledge of neuroscience and ICT Using a device called functional MRI, researchers measure how our brain works when watching a movie. They try to find out how we feel and what our intentions are based on the results. NICT is protecting society from the threats of increasingly skillful and complex cyber attacks. With the most advanced cyber security technology, safety evaluations on cryptographic technologies and privacy protection technologies. Nikta observes and analyzes cyber attacks being carried out over the internet in real time by using around 300,000 unused IP addresses. The rocket shown graphically indicate observed attack traffic. The altitude of each rocket indicates the service it was aimed at. While NICTA is an observation system to understand world-scale cyber attacks, Daedalus is a shield to protect particular organizations close to us. By detecting access to addresses at which regular use by general users has not occurred, Daedalus can detect the activities of malware-infected hosts within an organization at an early stage. Nirvanakai is a cyber attack integrated analysis platform. It combines live net monitoring, alert aggregation, and auto actuation, such as intercepting illegal communications. The large scale infrastructure for luring cyber adversaries, developed to address targeted attacks aimed at specified organizations, is called Stardust. <laughs> それならば我々が実際に攻撃者をびき寄せるような仕組みを作ってやろうということで作り出したものですいろんな攻撃者の動きが見えていて面白い部分あります例えばきっちり朝9時に侵入してきて夕方5時に帰っていくようなすごく規則正しい攻撃者がいたりとかですね非常に面白いデータが取れていますフロンティアリサーチデベロップスニューハライゾンズインのフィールドズ ICT リサーチ A one-meter aperture telescope can capture the glimmering light from a satellite. Optical satellite communication network technologies can transmit data from satellites in a highly secure manner. But up to now, there's never been success with a microsatellite weighing under 50 kilograms. However, using SOTA, NICT has successfully conducted experiments for quantum info communications enabling confidential communications between a microsatellite and the optical ground station. DUV LED devices have the shortest wavelength among practical solid-state semiconductor light-emitting diodes. 
DUV LED show great potential for application in many fields, including ICT, sterilization, healthcare, and the environment. The race is on worldwide to develop them as the next frontier after blue LEDs. In 2017, NICT demonstrated deep UV LED devices with the world's highest optical output power of over 150 milliwatts. The breakthrough technology was NICT's nanophotonic structure to control optical properties. Thanks to nano imprint technology, DUV LEDs with a nanophotonic and nanofin structure achieved a roughly 20 fold increase in output power. 100ミリワットを大きく超える世界で初めての報告になります。Frontier research areas also include research on bio ICT technology. The team here developed a new technology using artificial beads and found a new DNA sensing molecule which detects foreign DNA immediately after its invasion into the cell. ビーズの周りにDNAをつけてそれを入れる。Autophagy is an intracellular decomposing system. Using a bead as a landmark, the team discovered how DNA sensing molecules and autophagy reacted when foreign DNA invaded the cell. This is one of the challenges to create a new ICT paradigm by learning from biological systems. Creating new values and open innovation. National and local governments are studying countermeasures for increasingly diverse and malicious cyber attacks. To foster those responsible for cyber security, NICT uses various programs including CIDA Practical Cyber Defense Exercises and SecHack 365 which targets those under 25 years old. By creating a more resilient ICT infrastructure, Enhancing test beds like Starbed Large Scale Emulation Platform and JGN Ultra High Speed R&D Network to enable technological demonstrations and social verification for ICT. Supporting ICT venture creation to find and foster the next generation human resources. Promoting strategic standardization activities and intellectual property utilization. Disseminating R&D outcomes and conducting collaborative research with overseas partners We'll create ICT innovations. While advancing ICT R&D and implementing our achievements in an integrated manner, NICT will continue working closely with society to develop the future of ICT.